みなさん、こんにちは。シンガポール在住の中国のピキです。よろしくお願いします。Alright, so I have decided to record this,、um, today's ninth session, yeah, the free、uh, lesson. And、um, Something I would like to share with you today. We have reached the maximum number 100. It is amazing.、Uh, last week we had about 80 members, and today we reached the 100 members. Yeah, it's amazing. So many people come to join. I'm very happy. And、uh, I hope this kind of sharing will benefit as many people as possible. All right.、Uh, because、uh, from next lesson, I will change the learning material a bit. Yeah. So I will no longer review the basic sentence structure. So that's why I decided to, to record it.、Uh, then Uh, so, for absolute beginners, they can review. Okay. And then for those people who haven't joined my, my previous lessons, then they can hopefully they will be able to find this video and uh, uh, review from here. Okay. All right. So, welcome to Happy Me Like Learning Lab. Okay.、Uh, so, first, actually, my,、uh, my son inspired me to start this one. For a teaching journey, and he is four and a half years old. He is a huge fan of、uh, rockets. So it gave me、uh, the idea of c o m e up with a rocky log as well. Yeah, so he gave me all these,、uh, um, his inspirations. Yeah, so it's amazing. So、uh, by boarding this、uh, rocket ship, I hope we all can write toward to a very bright, happy future. All right. So, Milai means、uh, future in both、uh, Japanese and Chinese. It shares the same、uh, character. Okay. All right. So, they, this is the phrase I would like to share with you first. Dewa hajime masyo. This is something I would. Try to use often. Okay. Dewa is like,、uh, all right, all right, then. Hajime masyo. Let's start. Hajime lu. It is the original plain verb. Yeah. Hajime lu. Start by adding masyo. Hajime masyo. By adding the masyo, it will, it, you can express like, let's do something. Yeah. Let's start. Okay. So this is a very uh, important uh, pattern to remember. Okay. Hi. Okay, so in this、uh, session, to, this is the ninth session I have shared. Yeah, so from next week, number one, number two, number three,、uh, I won't be reviewing already. Okay,、uh, I will be reviewing the grammar number four. Okay, so let's go through one by one over here. Tsuki, this is the word, something I will、uh, use very often. Tsuki means next. Okay, all right, Tsuki. Right. So, first, this tilde here, yeah, this tilde here it indicates alternative words. Yeah, in the sentence,、um, in the Japanese sentence structure, normally we are pronounced as nani nani. Okay, nani nani. And over here, for the repeated word, it, read, it will be written like this, you see? So, this is nani, and this is the repeated one, nani. Okay, nani means what? Nani, nani, Zhong Chinese is Shen Ma. Okay, hey, Tsugi. So I will be reviewing the feature of Nani, nani, wa, Nani, nani, this. There are three features. Let's go through one by one, okay? So in this sentence structure, Nani, nani, wa, Nani, nani, this. This is like B, A, M, R, okay? Japanese、uh, structure, it is S O V structure.、Uh, English is S V O, okay? So Japanese is S O V. The verb is behind, okay? That's why you see this, same like B, it is behind, yeah, the verb. So in this sentence structure、uh, for the absolute beginner, this is hiragana ha, ha. However, In the sentence, because this one will be used as a particle, so we pronounce it as W A. Wa, nani nani wa, nani nani des. All right. So, wa, the basic function is subject marker. It tells us what is the subject. Okay. And it is mainly used as topic marker. 
Okay, so what is the topic? Like what we are talking about right now? Okay. Okay, feature one. So the subject, it is always the noun, right? Subject, noun, messi, messi, noun. So in front of what it is noun, messi, behind the first feature, behind, it is also noun, messi. Okay, so this is noun, wa, noun, this. Okay, let's look at example. It is always easier to look at examples. For example, move myself okay, so you can see the title. Lei o mi masio. Just now remember the masio. Masio, okay? Masio, it is the one you plus a verb, a verb plus masio. Yeah, you can express like, let's do something. Lei o mi masio. So it means let's look at examples. All right? So here the example. Kale wa amelika jin des. Amelika means America. America Jin plus Jin, it became the nationality American. Yeah, so Kale means he or him. Okay. So in front of wa, the subject is noun. Behind wa, it is also a noun. All right. So katakana America, America, it is written in katakana. Okay. Katakana is for foreign name or foreign words. Yeah, the long words. Okay, for example, coffee, yeah, coffee. So it is written kohi, kohi, yeah, because it is a long word. So it's written in katakana. And then Singapore, Singapore is where I live now, yeah. Singapore, okay, it is a foreign country name. So it is written in katakana, Singapore, okay. Hi, Tsuki. So the country name plus the word Jin, Jin means person, it becomes the nationality, all right, nationality. So for example, Japan, Nihon, Nihon means Japan, Nihon Jin, yeah, Nihon plus Jin, Nihon Jin, it becomes the nationality Japanese, okay. And then last session, I think we had to learn people who joined from Norway, Norway, Norway. Norwegian, Norwegian, okay? And then most of people are from Philippines, yeah? Philippine, Philippine, as Jin, Philippine Jin, yeah? Philippine Jin, Jin, right? So when you introduce yourself, you could consider to introduce your nationality as well, okay? For example, I am Chinese, okay? All right, so what if we want to say I am not or he is not? Yeah, so not the negative way, the negative form. So for example, watashi wa nihonjin dewa arimasen. Okay, watashi means I, watashi, I. Nihonjin, yeah, nihonjin, it is also a noun. Dewa arimasen, it is same as I am not. Yeah, it's the negative form of this. Yeah, I am not Japanese. Okay. And let's look at how many ways we can say uh, am not or is, am, are not the negative form. You can use in the four ways. Yeah. So the very first one, the polite style, dewa arimasen. Okay. Dewa arimasen. And then the next one, it is dewa nai des. Dewa nai des. Polite style. So the next one will be the plain style, the carol way. They were nine. They were nine. Okay. And then the last one, Janai. Janai, it is very carol spoken way. Yeah? Carol spoken only. Okay. Janai. All right. Hey. Okay. So the feature two. Yeah. Feature two. So the subject is noun. Meishi. Noun wa keiyoshi desu. Keiyoshi. Keiyoshi means adjectives. Adjective. So that means behind wa, we can use keiyoshi, adjectives. Okay? So let's look at examples. Lei o mimashou. Okay, for example, neko wa kawaii desu. Neko means cat. Kawaii, it is a adjective. Yeah? Kawaii means cute. Yeah? Desu, so over here, it is is. Yeah, neko wa kawaii desu. Cat is cute. All right. Okay, next one. 
So this is a sentence example someone gave during the last lesson. Natsu wa atsui desu. Natsu means summer. Atsui, keiyoshi, adjectives. Atsui, hot, hot. Singapore, it is very hot. Yeah? It's summer all, the, all year round. Yeah? So natsu wa atsui desu. Atsui desu. Yeah? Okay. So this one, it is also nan wa keiyoshi desu. Yeah? Use behind wa, we use adjectives. Right? Okay, the feature three. Now what the subject? Now what behind we can put location. Basho. Basho means location, place. Yeah. So this one is to, to uh, express someone is somewhere. Okay, let's look at examples. Lei o mimashio. Kale wa kakko desu. Kale means hey. Yes, kakko means school. Yeah, so this one is telling us he is at school. Okay. Kale wa kaisa desu. Kaisa means company. So it's like he's at work. Kale wa kaisa desu. He is at work. All right. Hi. So let's review the grammar. Nani nani ga suki desu. I like something. Okay. Nani nani ga suki desu ka? Do you like something? Nani nani ka suki dewa arimasen. I don't like something. Okay. So in this sentence structure over here, remember just now we have mentioned nani nani means what? Nani means what? Yeah, so it will be a noun. So let's try to remember this sentence pattern. Nani nani ka suki desu. I like something. So you just need to, to uh, learn more vocabulary. Learn Nouns to body back, okay? Nanga ski In this, uh, in just now, in that sentence structure, there is this particle ga. Particle ga here, I would like to introduce as case marker. Here, case marker, okay? So, function one, it indicates the object of like, dislike, okay? For example, watashi wa ryoko ga suki desu. I like travel, yeah, I like travel. By adding on the question mark, it can turn this sentence to a question. For example, ga suki desu ka? Minasan, ga suki desu ka? Do you like travel? Yeah, so you can turn the basic sentence to a question, all right? Next, anime ga suki desu ka? Minasan, anime ga suki desu ka? Okay, so this is like, do you like anime? And there are many people, they are sharing, they love anime. Why do you learn Japanese language? Because I love anime. That is a very good reason, a great motivation, okay? So if you enjoy doing something, or if you enjoy watching something, that is a good way to learn uh, something about that, okay? It will help you to uh, learn how to say, cannot say easily, but, you know, happily and uh, more relaxed, yeah? Okay. Hi, so uh, just now the question. Anime, minasan, anime ga suki desu ka? Watashi wa anime ga suki desu. I like anime, yeah? So, hi, suki desu. Or you, if you don't like, you can say, ii e, ii e suki dewa arimasen. Ii e suki dewa nai desu. Ii e suki janai desu. Okay, so these are the ways to say yes question, uh, yes sentence and no sentence, okay? Hi, ski. Particle ga as a case marker, it also indicates the object of capability. Okay, capability. For example, Nihongo ga dekimasu ka? Minasan, Nihongo ga dekimasu ka? Can you speak Japanese? Yeah, so let's see if you, you know a little bit. Little bit. Skoshi, skoshi dekimasu, skoshi dekimasu, yeah? Skoshi hanashimasu, or skoshi hanasemasu. Yeah, I can speak a little bit, yeah? Skoshi a little, okay? And uh, let's see if without ka, nihongo ga dekimasu. So that means, yeah, I can speak Japanese, or I guess I like, can speak Japanese, okay? Hi. So over here, dekimasu, it is the polite style of the word, dekiru, 
the Kilo A has many meanings, many functions. Yeah, over here, I will just introduce the basic meaning can do, keep up, be able to. Okay. Hi, Skip. Can you cook? Can cook a little bit. Yeah. So the ga in the key, the object of capability. Okay. Hi. Okay, so ga as case marker, it has another function. It indicates the subject. It tells us what is the subject in the sentence. Okay, let's look at the examples. Inu ga doubutsu desu. Okay, inu ga doubutsu desu. So in this sentence structure, it's just telling us the fact. Okay, so um, many people will ask, Inu wa doubutsu desu. So what is the difference between ga and wa? Okay, so my personal uh, understanding, uh, ga, uh, let's put in this way, ga, uh, it just tell the fact of dog is animal without emotion. It is just a fact. It can be written on the paper, okay? So it's more like a written, written way, okay? And wa, you know what dog is this? Yeah, why? Because it is a topic marker, yeah? So why it gives the sentence uh, emotions? For example, we are discussing about the vegetables, animals, the fruits, like what is what? Oh yeah, dog is animals, yeah? Apple is fruit, yeah? So we are having a discussion, a conversation, yeah? So it gave the sentence, why it gave the sentence a kind of uh, emotions? Okay, so that's my uh, way of explaining the difference, right? Okay. okay, so this is the new one. Nani nani koto ga suki desu. Nani nani no ga suki desu. In front, it will be verb. Okay, so this sentence pattern is to express, I like doing something. Okay, I like doing something. So, koto no. They are formal now. They don't really have, right? They don't really have a uh, meaning, okay? They are just grammar function. They can change a verb to a noun, okay? So for example, do, do plus koto o plus no, it becomes doing. It looks like adding on a ing, okay? ing. For example, milu. Milu is a word, it has many meanings, yeah? So let's just remember these three first. Say, watch, look at. For example, telebio milu means watch TV, okay? Telebio. Telebi over here is katakana because it's a long word, okay? Telebi, yeah? So this is the phrase, watch TV. By adding on over here, by adding on koto or no, we turn this phrase to watching TV. Yeah? So we turn this phrase to a formal style noun. Okay? For example, I like Yeah. So you can express, uh, I like doing something. Yeah? I, like some, I like watching TV. I like watching any. All right? Okay, let's look at the O. Oh, so in this phrase, o telebio milu, o it is the object marker, okay? It indicates the object of an action. Nang o, the verb, okay? This is a very important one. And if you know plenty of nouns and plenty of verbs, then you can create many, many simple phrases, which is good enough for a sim for simple conversation, okay? Hi. This is a word, yomu. Yomu means read. Hon o yomu, read book. Okay, so by adding an koto no, it changed to this phrase to reading book. Watashi wa hon o yomu koto ga suki desu. Yeah, I like reading book. Or if you say, watashi wa hon o yomu koto. Hon o yomu koto ga suki desu. Uh, if someone 
Okay, if someone asks you, uh, what is the hobby? Sumi wa nan desu ka? What is the hobby? You can say, hon o yomu koto desu. Yeah, so it's like, uh, I love reading books. Uh, reading books is my hobby. Okay, so by adding on a, a koto to a, a, a verb phrase, you can use that to express about your hobby. Okay. For example, anime o miru koto desu. Shumi wa nan desu ka? Anime o miru koto desu. Yeah. Okay. Some people love to watch anime. All right. So in this sentence structure, what is the difference between koto and no? Yeah. So these are these two are both are okay to use, and actually there isn't really um. A very big difference, okay, ex except during the conversation, you know. So, no is generally slightly more preferred, and um, koto it is also okay. Of course, koto and no it has so many meanings and so many functions, okay. So, they are almost the same, only in this particular sentence structure, okay. You need to learn other functions along the way. We need to be patient. It's not something we can learn in one lesson, okay. So, now it is uh, more generally more preferred, yeah, for daily spoken Japanese, okay. So, this is the main difference between koto and no in this sentence structure, okay. Hey, ijo desu. All right, okay. Just now, uh, I was so excited. There was like a hundred people joining today, and we have reached the maximum <laughs> one hundred people. It is amazing. I'm very happy. Uh, it is a great encouragement to me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Arigato. Hi. Okay, so I will be uh, sharing some of the related links, YouTube links, um, as well, because, uh, for example, some of the vocabulary about jin, about nationalities, maybe some of the words about uh, hobby. Yeah, so if you're interested, you can click and uh, learn some more uh, vocabularies. Okay, and if you didn't join my previous lessons, if you wish to join my future lessons, you can either follow my YouTube or you can either follow the Facebook. Okay, so normally I will update the details two to three days uh, before Friday. Um, both at both places, okay. So on the Facebook, it will be uh, created on the event, okay. And uh, uh, for the two p.m. session, so generally the fifty hiragana alphabets must be included because it is made for people who learn from zero. Okay, then the rest I will try to you know add down a little bit and a little bit. Okay, and for the three p.m. session, as I mentioned just now, uh, so we will be learning something new uh, next week. Okay, so a lot of them will not be reviewed. That is the purpose I recall this video. Okay, okay so please refer this one to review. All right. Okay, so if you would like to join my next uh, lesson, please follow me. If you find my video is useful and um, please click like and share with your friends. I hope uh, more people will join as well. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for attending my class. Matane, see you next week. Bye-bye.